Globally, indigenous peoples protect 80 of the world's biodiversity in lands they have held for centuries. Despite making up only five of the world's population, everyone benefits when indigenous peoples have sovereignty over their lands. The ability to own and protect land in line with their own traditions and desires. No one understands this dynamic better than the Winamem Wintu tribe. The tribe, based in Northern California's Shasta Cascade region, has been fighting for almost a decade to reintroduce its sacred salmon, Chinook, to the McLeod River. For thousands of years, the tribe has ensured that fish can safely travel downstream of the Chinook River to cooler waters so they can reproduce. At night, they would light fires along the river and physically walk and carry fish in baskets if there were obstacles along the way. Then came the Shasta Dam. Until 1930s, many Winamem Wintu lived on the land surrounding McLeod River without legal ownership of it. Congress passed the Central Valley Project Indian Lands Acquisition Act to acquire allotment lands owned by tribal members prior to dam construction. The plan was to flood immediate area to create a reservoir with the waters of Upper Sacramento, Pitt and McLeod Rivers. Tribal members have been displaced and hundreds of ancestral Winamem Wintu villages. Sanctuaries and burial grounds now lie underwater at the bottom of the reservoir. The dam also prevented salmon from returning to their spawning grounds, causing their populations to decline. Climate change and proposed changes to the dam and nearby estuaries now pose further threats to endangered fish. The tribe's lack of federal recognition prevents it from having the same protections that other nations have. Therefore, opportunities for Winamem Wintu to return to unaffected portions of their lands, which are now considered public lands or private property held by non-indigenous peoples, are limited. But today, on Indigenous Peoples Day, the tribe purchased 1,080 acres of ancestral land. More than 2 million in private donations were used to fund the sale. The remainder and separate grant funding will support the construction of an eco-village that will marry indigenous living traditions with forward-looking land management practices. This is a win not just for the tribe, but for the indigenous-led Bactoland movement as a whole. Taking back the land is really what's needed for tribes to re-establish their ways and return them to collective tribalism, said Chief Kaline Sisk. A lot of prayers and kindhearted people helped us get there. But I never imagined we could do this. How do Winamem Wintu plan to use their newly returned lands? Before today's sale, the Winamem Wintu tribe had only 42 acres of private property left in Redding, California. That land had previously been purchased by Chief Sisk's great aunt, who was chief at the time. Six miles from river were saved from flooding by the construction of dam. He stayed with the family a uh, 